Hey Charles, thanks for the video submission. Um, noticing a couple of things about your writing, you sent in a couple of videos here and both jumps are a little bit different um, and I'll, I'll go through both of them and show you which one is actually a little bit better. But there are similar things that are happening in both. So the main thing that's happening here is as you approach the jump, notice here as you get close in your effort to make compression into the jump face, you really start to press down here, which is great. But notice how much knee bend you're actually getting, like how low your hips are actually getting in this effort here. So right here, your hips are super, super low. And really what we're seeing there is we're seeing almost like, almost like a 90 degree angle here with your legs. And so in this position here, what this is doing is it's essentially hanging your hips back really, really far for one thing. Um, and that's, that's gonna be something that's gonna straighten your arms, particularly as you come up into the air and start to experience flight arc. That straightening of the arms is then gonna actually pull you forward slightly. And you might've noticed, and this is the video where your, your foot kind of comes off the pedal a little bit. And so some of that being pulled around in the air is what's causing that, that foot to come off. It's also what's causing you to land both wheels in the same, uh, you know, at the same time instead of the same place here. So uh, we'll take a look at a little bit of this as we scroll through here. So um, I would actually just have you stand, um, you know, in terms of where we want your legs. Basically we want, you know, the, the, the legs to be a little bit more upright so that there's just enough knee bend to where the, the knee would go basically directly over the toe rather than the knee driving, you know, six or eight inches in front of the toe. This is gonna make you a lot stronger as you move through this process. We're just a lot stronger, you know, squatting at the very um, upward part of our, of our leg travel than we are squatting down low. Um, but more importantly, it's gonna keep you further forward on the bike without having to think about being further forward. So your legs are just gonna be a little bit straighter. So we'll take a look here um, as you get into the air here. So. Here, you got, you, you're really going for it. I mean, you're getting great compression here. You are losing a little compression because as you press down with the hips coming down and back, you're actually not create, manifesting as much pressure as you're trying to because the legs aren't remaining very straight. So you're looking pretty good here. Um, here, you're rising up a little bit soon. I would say that you could wait maybe until the back wheel contacts the lip of the jump. So maybe just rising up away from the bike a little bit soon. And what we're gonna see here is the arms get really straight. So this is, this is the point at which we know there's like a little bit of a problem here in terms of just kind of looking for the perfect jump. So when we look at this image here, we can really see that your arms are really pretty straight here. So that's, that's not a terrible thing, but it's not perfect because remember here, the bike is, is needing to fly through an arc here, okay? So if it needs to go through this arc here, when I get down, you know, maybe more into into the section um, down here where I have, get to maybe here with your bottom bracket, at that point, you're gonna be getting pulled forward by your extended arms, and we're gonna see that here. So uh, as we take a look through a little further here, we're gonna see the bike trying to fly through its arc. The arc remains a little bit flat because there's actually so much pressure in the fronts of your hands. So you kind of get pulled here by your arms. So now your arms are completely straight. The bike in this instance can't really fly into an arc. It could pull you forward, which is actually what it does in the other video. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. So here, bike's a little flat. Notice also how far your hips are coming back in an effort to not be pulled forward. So all these things are trying to make up for the, you know, the initial mistake that you made during your preloading where you got a little bit low with the hips and had a little bit too much knee bend. And this is actually about the place where you kind of get you kind of get pulled by the hands here and this kind of pulls you away from your pedals. And when it's played full speed, we can actually hear that you lost contact, I believe with your left pedal. So see here we see you come down in a pretty flat flight arc here. So we're not landing with the wheels in the same place. We're landing with them at the same time. Not terrible by any means, but we could definitely improve that uh, as you do in the neck with the next jump. But we're gonna, we're gonna look at and see some of the things that are similar with that. First, we're just gonna look through this here again, just so you can hear that pedal coming off or your foot coming off the pedal, I should say. So we'll take a look through at the next one after this, but hopefully that helps. Again, I, all I want you to be doing is just to stand a little bit taller as you're approaching the jump. So you're just gonna be standing a little bit taller. We actually want you standing about at about, maybe at about this height here, with this much knee bend and, and that, that kind of a body position when you're here. Okay, so that's gonna be quite a change. So start small with that, just stand a little taller each time you come through. Um, again, if you're taking a video of yourself here and 
you see your hips coming back this far, you know that you're not really in thrown position. You're not really in a standing posture. So these are some things that could really help you with your jumping. Again, we'll take a look at the next video next and we'll get you on your way. Thanks so much for sending these in. This is super fun. Hey Charles, just got your videos, um, your after videos. So cool to see, man. Um, got your note too, saying that you, you don't really see the cha some of the changes, maybe uh, perhaps as much on video as I'm seeing them. Um, I think you mentioned that you still thought you were standing a little bit low as you approached the lip. The difference is, I mean, you are still getting low as you, as you move into compression here, which is totally fine. That's healthy. What you were doing before is getting low back here. So before you would have been low back in this point um, and kind of like way too preset. Here you're, you're in a really good position to actually collect the energy of the jump face here and hold compression all the way until the back wheel contacts the lip of the jump. And what I'm seeing here is that you're getting so much more air, but almost more importantly, you're not being pulled forward for one thing and you're, you're getting the bike to land in the same place with both wheels. So we see the front wheel landing and the back wheel landing in almost exactly the same spot. So this is really gonna allow you to have a lot of freedom in the air. It's gonna allow you to, to hit a lot smaller landings, a lot smaller transitions, but it's also gonna allow you to start moving in the air because what was happening before is you were getting a little bit low on approach, which was bringing your hips back here and your arms were getting a little overextended and you were being pulled into your arms. Now there's actually enough space in your arms, chest and shoulders here to create movement. So here there's a, a lot more space than there was before. You can see there's even slight elbow bend there at the crest of the arc. So what that's gonna allow you to do is to start to bring movement into your jumping sooner than later. So a lot of great things happening here uh, in, your, in your after video. Um, maybe we'll try some side-by-side -side stuff too, but this is really, really good progress. I'm super happy with it. We'll just watch this through a, a couple of times here um, so we can see what it looks like. Full speed. Looking good, Charles.